Well, a local woman is filing a lawsuit claiming a youth minister from Foursquare Church molested her when she was a child. 23 ABC's Christine Din has her side of the story tonight. Christine? Jessica Bowman is suing the Foursquare International Church and one of its former youth ministers for sexual molestation. We are not identifying the accused molester because he was a juvenile at the time of the alleged assaults. In this civil complaint, Jessica Bowman claims that starting from 1987, when she was four years old, she was sexually molested by a 14-year-old Foursquare Church volunteer, who later became her youth minister. Him touching me, touching me under the clothes, making me touch him. Bowman says the acts happened at the Dayspring Foursquare Church, located on Terrace Way. He also molested her at her home and his home. Both her family and his were close friends. He would get me alone. He, he loved to play doctor. Bowman says the molestation stopped when she was eight years old. And he stopped molesting me when I was eight because I think I was starting to kind of come to, you know, I was getting older. He was probably worried that, oh no, she's pregnant, say something, so he stopped. Bowman says in 1996, she and her family went to church leaders with the allegations. And the church did, they did write me a letter the Foursquare denomination. They wrote me a letter, they said sorry, and here's some money for therapy. They gave me like $1,500 so I could go to therapy. They encouraged Jessica and her family not to report to law enforcement, and Jessica was quieted. In 2010, Bowman took her allegations to law enforcement. Police went out and interviewed him, and yes, he admitted to law enforcement that he'd abused her and other girls. Bowman's attorney, Anthony DeMarco, says despite that, the accused molester never went to jail. Because statute of limitations had passed. Now, Bowman is suing her accused molester and the International Foursquare Church. Church leadership expressly didn't report it to law enforcement as they were obligated to do. Bowman is seeking a jury trial and restitution for damages. I mean, I, I have anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder. I've had a lot of damaging relationships with family members, friendships, stuff like that. Beyond justice for herself, she says she's seeking justice for other potential victims. I don't want other kids to be abuse and I want other victims to come forward because I know that there are other victims out there. Abusers don't stop abusing children until they're forced to. I'm not going to be quiet and I'm going to continue and um, he's not going to get away with it and neither is the church. 23 ABC contacted Foursquare Church for comment and the district attorney's office to find out if a criminal complaint was ever filed and why he was never jailed. We did not receive a call back from either one. In the studio, I'm Christine Din, 23 ABC.